Okay, so I'm a bit late to this, but we are going to be trying to solo hardcore, as you saw in the title, with the new Gatling gun tower. And I actually tried this once off camera. I got to wave 25 and died to the three shadow bosses. But the Gatling gun was actually putting in work mid game. I was surprised. I thought this was going to be like a late game exclusive thing, but it's actually viable during that stage of the game. So I'm like, huh, you know, that's interesting. And I'm considering putting it either here or here. Last time I put it here, but I might honestly better be better here. I'm not sure yet. But uh, for the first stage of this game, we're just going to try to get a Golden Crook boss down initially. I'm using a strategy by Fivels, the Souls guy, that guy, you know? Yeah, I'm using pretty much his strategy, but to include the Gatling Gun, I replaced the Brawler with the Gatling Gun. Which made the most sense to me. Because I don't want to try to micro Brawler while I'm microing the Gatling Gun. No, 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 that doesn't sound fun. Uh, can we kill all... I should have placed it better to do that. Yeah, no, okay. So, we're just gonna let the quick boss do its work, you know, we'll let the minions catch that one that just got by. The minions can be catch all of this stuff that we're letting leak right now. It won't matter. That's why I'm setting it as strong, so the minions could just have an easier time with that. God, I wanna get the... I'm really interested if putting this mid-game is actually a viable strategy. I don't think it will be. The getting a crook boss just sounds generally better, but... It was doing really good. I won't lie to you. It was doing really good. Alright, let's skip this wave. Oh, it skipped for us. Uh, I think we can set the crook to first now. Let's see if the minion can spawn before this guy gets in the base. One. Oh yeah, easy. There we go. We're not losing any HP now. The minion's able to catch all of that. That's really nice. Clean it all up. And now we're just gonna want to save for this level 2 normie upgrade. And so we can get camo. And then once we have hidden, we can get our cryo down for leads and then we can get this guy to level 3, spam more crook bosses, get the gatling gun, get the rangers, and then we beat the void weaver! Maybe, 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 I don't know. So, the plan for this video, I, well, you can see by how long the video is, 50 minute video, pretty much, maybe an hour on hardcore, I don't know how long hardcore games take at this rate. Uh, and we're just gonna be yapping the whole time while we have fun with this new gatling gun tower, because this thing is so fun to play with. I can't wait to play like more casual games with it. I can't play to play more ca more competitive game modes with it. Like replace it with some towers. It's gonna be some fun times, honestly. Like I was using this in the last game. That was so fun. Maybe I'll play a clip of that here. Don't know if I played it or not if it just appeared in front of your face or not. But <laughs> yeah, dude, it was just it was just so fun. This Gatling Gun Tower is so cool, man. You can place it on cliffs. You can place it on ground. You can put it anywhere. You can attack anything. You could uh, Other than leads. Other than leads. This thing. I wonder why bullets can't shoot through leads. You know what I mean. Other than that, though. Really fun tower. Really fun tower. Oh, uh, and honestly. The route. You know how, like, it has a cone-shaped range, right? That doesn't matter that much, guys. Like, you could just, like, go into the scope mode, change it, boom, really quick. Oh, actually, I should upgrade this, too, so then we have camo. Oh, I mean, lead. Oh, I mean... I meant hidden, guys! I meant hidden! Or, as Hardcore likes to call it, shadows or invisibles. Why does it say invisibles? But then it gives you shadow bosses. Still a pretty outdated game mode, but... Uh, let's try to get a Cryomancer here now. Set it to strong. Let it do its stuff to the lead stuff. Uh, we can skip this wave, honestly. Okay, we're gonna try to get this thing to level 2 so it actually starts doing damage with this tick damage right here that you see. But, you see these invisibles right here? Yeah, no problemo. We got a golden crook boss right there. You are all dead. And let's just skip that wave because we can. And we're gonna upgrade this Cryomancer to level 2. This new UI, it has its pros and cons. It, like, it's really cool. It has really cool sound effects. You can finally see your skin here in this upgrade thing and that's re really cool. I'm not gonna lie to you, like, you can see your cybernetic crook boss here, your thing here, and the drop shadow there behind it is, like, how do I say this, uh, like, it's based on the color of the rarity of your skin, like, you see down here, the red icon for the Cryomancer, because it's an event tower, that's the event tower color, it's red, and then this one is a rare rarity, so it's blue, and you look here, it's blue, 
I don't know if you guys are getting what I'm saying. I'm trying to fill up the video with as much as I can so you guys just stay on it, okay? If anyone watches this. I don't make Tower Defense Simulator videos. I don't make Tower Defense Simulator Hardcore videos. So, if you've seen my view count lately, it's not that, uh... Hasn't been that great, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. And then... Okay, we killed all that. We're just saving for the level 3 gamer upgrade right now because going from 0.7 to 0.18 fire rate for 1 is insane. For 2, you get the golden Tommy crooks, another crook spawning that is also really good. I think it does like 50 DPS each of them. That's just insane. Like, it's almost as much damage as the crook itself. The the buff golden crook boss was just... Okay, it's, it's crazy. And flying detection too, for some reason... Not really sure why they gave it that, but I mean, now it's meta in hardcore because of that. But that doesn't mean they should nerf it. Like, it is really good in hardcore, and the crime answer is really good in hardcore. But aside from that, like, the two of these... Okay, well, other than Golden Crook. The Golden Crook. But don't nerf them, please. Don't, don't, don't nerf... The Golden Crook is good out of here. Yeah, but the crime answer is in, and the crime answer is the main reason we're able to take out of these leads so efficiently. Like, 2,000 spent, and... It's doing this much to them. Yeah, they're, they're cooked. Uh, set this to last. Strong. Last. First. Last. Or actually, I can set that first. Last. First. Um, um, um. Why are you alive? You Never mind, you're not alive. Alright, so we should set this back to first. Set this to random. Another thing I really hate about the new UI, though, is you can't... You see how I'm clicking on this? You, you hear that? It's not changing the targeting. It used to do that, so... I mean, I gotta get used to that. But, I mean, it's a ma it's just minor thing. But also, they changed, like, the DJ. And I think some other units where you would, like, change the... Uh, thing on the side here. Not the ability, though. Or the spawning. Like, the track. Like, the DJ track, you have to, like, click on this to pull out a UI that shows the tracks. Instead of just like all the tracks are always there. So that's going to take some getting used to as well. But I mean, it'll be fine. Now what I'm considering is getting the Gatling gun right now. Okay. Because it genuinely was doing so good last time. And I just don't know if that's actually a good thing to do. Jesus, we're getting so many... So many... Uh... It should be fine. I get the... I get the level 3 gamer upgrade soon. So if you could just hang on for a bit longer. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we're going to be able to get level 3 gamer. That is probably better than the Gatling gun, to be honest. Uh, let me see. Point 6 damage by 0.15 fire rate. Versus 10 damage by 0.18. Okay, yeah. The Golden Quick Boss... Golden Quick Boss is a lot better DPS. But the Gatling gun does have range. I'll give you that. But this thing does also spawn units, so, I mean, Golden Cook Boss will be the better option to get right now, even if it's a tiny bit more expensive. Let's set this to weakest right now, so then it actually shoots what is meant to be shooting. We can get the, uh, there we go, level 3 gamer. Now that's going to be doing a lot more DPS, very good for us. We can get another crook here as well, right there. Kaboom, and now we have even more DPS. I don't know when I should get a Gatling Gun though it's really expensive really expensive i'll tell you that uh let's set these to strong to deal with the you know what i'm talking about and yeah they they're all focused on that mega slow while this thing is focused on the leads because that's what actually kills the leads yeah he's dead look at how fast he's dying wow well that's a lot faster than when i was using the gatling gun but that's because i had to like when I was doing the mystery wave, there was like 10 lead bosses coming down my lane and I had to get so many cryomancers to stop them. And that wasted a lot of my money, so I was... That's pretty much probably why I died to the shadow bosses last time. And you can see we're about to catch this thing, so we can just skip this wave. We can set these back to first, because the leads aren't going to distract them anymore. There's leads right there, okay. I'll set them to weakest, and the cryomancer can be on str uh, strong, yeah. I'll probably get another cryomancer to help out. Probably, yeah. Uh, let me do that. I'm I'm dollars off. Okay, that's fine. All good. All good. 
Yeah, so we'll let the Cryomancer just keep on melting them. Keeping it on strong is a really good way to do that. And the other stuff on weakest is just gonna shred the lead bosses. Look at that. Kaboom. Done for. Alright, so we'll get another Cryomancer here. I'm gonna set it the farthest. It's probably best targeting, right? Probably. Probably. I don't know. I mean, it is doing some pretty good DPS. Oh, well, that thing is just gonna take a while to... Let me set this back to first, actually, and this back to first. Oh, yeah, the Cryomancer perfectly took out the leads there, so then we could just focus on this thing. Yeah, that's very nice of you, Cryomancer. Thank you, thank you. So, now we're just gonna save for another level 3 gamer to deal with the, uh, Shadow Boss Rush. The three Shadow Bosses. If I can't get it, though, I'll probably just get another Crook Boss. If I'm- if they- if, I'm, if they get really far, though, I might have to get the Gatling Gun to catch them. And I mean, the Gatling Gun on itself is a pretty good tower, so... Where the investment? Uh, the Cryomancer is putting in work here. The pistol gun just caught the lead boss. And we're doing good. Right, yeah, all this stuff is gonna start dying now. Yeah, boom, y'all are dead. I think I'll be able to afford the level 3 gamer upgrade by the time that... Let me set this to strong. So this is strong, so they immediately target the Shadow Boss. Yeah, look at how much damage that took off of it already. It just got spawned! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, let me first. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so there we go. We just killed that Shadow Boss with ease. And we should be able to, by the looks of it, we should be able to afford another level 3 gamer for the Shadow Boss Rush. So that is another good thing to look forward to. Let's set this to strong. So we can kill these mega slows. And we'll just try to get the level 3 gamer. Should be able to. Uh let's see. Yeah, let them let them keep handling that stuff. Set this to first for now. Oh, yeah, okay, we can set the first now. Kill all the stuff, kill all the stuff. Okay. Yeah, we're killing this really fast. We should be able to get the level 3 gamer just from the cash we get from these mega slows. Yeah, he's dying pretty darn fast, I'm not gonna lie to you. And this guy is getting just perma-slowed. So, that's awesome as well. Yeah, okay, we could get level 3 gamer, let's get that so we have even more DPS. And now our job is just pretty much spam more quick bot. Oh, wait, actually, no. I want to get another Cryomancer here for the lead bosses. Uh, yeah, that'll help out on them. Uh, pretty good amount. I'm gonna get another Cryomancer here as well, just for that. Uh, this one could be set on farthest. Because these lead bosses, that's a lot of lead bosses, you know. If we don't get this many Cryomancers, I don't know how we're gonna be able to handle that. It also helps freeze the Shadow Bosses a little bit, so... It's a win-win. It's a win-win. If we can kill these Shadow... Bosses. We have enough DPS from the minions, right? Minions are pretty good. When did these spawn? Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, we're fine. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we got another minion here soon anyway. Yeah, look at this though. Yo. Yeah, okay. We killed it. We killed it. So, nothing to worry about. Now we can just spam even more crook bosses. I'm gonna get my next one here. Because I think the range will be able to hit here. We have a good amount of cryomancers now for leads as well. So, that'll help too. Mega slows, mega slow. Yeah, okay, we're good. Uh, let's set this to strong though, so they can kill that stuff. Is oh wow, we killed the lads pretty fast actually. No need to set the strong. All right, so we'll just let them handle that. Two fallen reapers with the upgraded spawns is pretty dangerous, but Cryomancer slowing plus the DPS of the Golden Crook boss is just such a good synergy for hardcore mode. And on this map too, these guys have pretty good angles, the minions to get. They snipes on the guys, so that's really good as well. I'm just trying to get more level 3 gamers, though, on my Kirk bosses. Now, I'm really not sure if I should get my Gatling gun here or here. I think I'm gonna get it here. I think I like this spot. Yeah. Okay, I'll use... I'll use here. Here. Uh, I'm trying to take into account, like, the FPS mode. Wait. I can actually get the angle with Vcam. Hold on. So if it's right here, it's kind of like this. Okay, so that's... 
That's really good. That has a lot of angles. What if I get it here, though? So, let's say I have it here. It would be like... Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good. I don't like over here, though. Not having it over here is a bit... But then again, usually I get more value here anyway. Now, I like the other spot. It's also higher, so that generally is helpful. Okay, yeah. We'll put it in this cliff here. But for now, we're just still getting the level 3 crook bosses. We should be able to handle these stuff, right? Yeah. That's a, that is a lot of Fallen Reaper spawns, but the Cryomancer splash damage is going to help. And then the general DPS of the crook should be able to take care of them pretty easily. Yeah. And there's two mega slows again, but we've dealt with this a lot of times by now. It's no, it's nothing new. Especially with the Cryomancers helping out, slowing them down, doing some damage. Not really damage, but... I never realized how much smoke is in this one area. What the heck? That's pretty cool. Alright, well, let me... Alright, there we go. And I'm gonna get another golden crook boss here. And then we'll start doing rangers. I need to leave room here for my gatling gun. I might put gatling gun before rangers, actually. Nah, nah, rangers, rangers. I'll be safe, I'll be safe. I'll do what I know works. I'm getting them for lead balloons anyway. It's not like this thing can help on leads. That's the only thing that sucks about this thing. No leads and pretty expensive. But, I mean, other than that, pretty good, pretty good. Let's get another golden crook boss here. With the cybernetic skin in the corner there with the new UI and the new UI sounds. You hear those upgrade sounds? Those upgrade sounds are clean. Oh, and I have some DMs. What's going on here? Nothing. Okay. Uh, bu -bu -bum, bu -bu -bum. Oh, we have a lot of leads here, but those cryomancers, get them out of here. Get them out of here. Okay, we got two shadow bosses. We got... Mysteries. Mysteries can be pretty annoying, but by this point, it's probably fine. We have some Fallen Rushers coming in, too. Oh, those are light work. We have Fallen Titan. That's the main event of this wave right here. He's gonna give us so much money. Not gonna lie to you. Free cash cow. Yeah, look, we got a lot of lead bosses from the Mysteries, but it's fine. Um, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. We're getting a lot of minions stacked here, which is really good for when this guy comes around. He is getting slowed so much, though. Oh, I got some money. Let's go. So we have all level 3 gamers down now. Uh, now, about the history of the Crook Boss. You see, this thing, if you don't remember, in like 2019, it was a meme with like the Mafia Boss. Like with the mobile ads, there were always those mo mobile ad Mafia Boss ads. And then this tower, right here, this tower that has advanced so far, came from a meme. So, that's pretty cool to think about. Uh, also, these units are really collidable. Look at this. He's pushing me around. What? what hey, who do you think you are? I shouldn't say that. Um, alright, so let's start getting rangers, though. I'm gonna just get all levels, uh, I'm gonna just get all seven down before I start doing, like, what do you call it? The upgrades? Yeah. Uh, ba -bum, ba -bum. If I put one here, does that cover whole map? That covers whole map, so I'll just put it here. Kaboom. Alright, let's get another down here. We'll get another down. Now, this Gungale skin for the Ranger, I mean, it's, it's good, but like, it used to be a lot better because on max level, it would have these really cool, like, cybernetic wings. And I really like that about the skin. And I mean, I still use the skin now just because, like, I mean, it looks pretty cool. But, yeah, no more cybernetic wings does suck. I mean, I usually do use the Railgunner skin, though, on the Ranger because if you've seen that skin and its custom gun, it is sick. Way different from the other Ranger skins and it just looks really sick in general. Alright, so this guy's gonna start entering the DPS range, and he is just gonna die. Alright. It's really weird seeing the damage go up like that. It, like, rolls, if you know what I mean. Like, oh, let me see one of these. Yeah, you see that? It, like, instead of instantly showing you, it, like, I like this do. 
Like, what the heck? Alright, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I need right here. Yeah. And then I need one more here, and then we're good. We have all our rangers down, and then we can start upgrading them a bit, and then we can do engineers. That'll be a good time. We're gonna get a cash from this soon, though. Good amount of cash. He's really slow from the Crowmancers. The Crowmancers help a lot. And if you don't know this, don't don't tell the devs. Don't tell the devs. Don't tell the devs. The Cryomancers can slow bosses. It's very slight. It's very slight. It's not a lot. It's not some game-breaking amount of like 50% that usually comes whenever slowing bosses in the game. But they do slow bosses. Take with that what you will. Um, well, I think it slows bosses. I might be feeding you information. I'm pretty sure it does. Just from, like, eyeballing it. I should probably, like, time that. Someday. Like, Fallen King with Crowmancer versus not Crowmancer. And then I could get an official result. But until then, just know, I think it slows bosses. I think. I think. Alright, well, anyways, let's upgrade these rangers some more. Upgrading the Gatling gun later is going to be pretty expensive. Not sure how I'm going to do that. I'm sure it's a lot more expensive than six brawlers. So, like, isn't the last upgrade going to be like 150k with the hardcore? Dude, that tower is going to be so expensive. God. But it does do a lot of DPS. I won't, I won't lie to you about that. Alright, well, let's get even more of our rangers upgraded. This wave is going to be the Gravedigger. It's fine, though. It's, no worries. We're just getting more of our rangers to level 2 now, because that is also a valuable upgrade. Level 0 spam is really good though. Level 0 spam is really good. Okay, I might set them to strong. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Strong, 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 strong. Maybe one on first just to catch stuff. Nah, the stuff can handle that. We just want to get some early DPS on that Gravedigger. Oh, maybe that I should... Yeah, set that to first so it... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, they were shooting at that lead for a pretty long time. Alright, well, anyway, let's, set that, let's set that back to uh, strong. And just do some more damage to the Gravedigger. Uh, let's see, I got four level twos. I'm gonna... Those Valentines are actually, actually pushing. Let me, let me set these to first. All right. Okay. Oh, there. Oh, stop shooting at the leads. What are you doing? You all need to stop doing that. Dang, that Fontaine is getting quite through, actually. Okay, he did give us some money once he died, though. Okay, we took care of the leads, thank god. Now we just need to kill those mega slows, and then we're free to keep doing DPS to this guy. Now, do you see how he's shaking? I think that's how it slows bosses. I'm not sure, though. Those leads, those leads. Jeez, these guys are taking a long time to kill that thing. Okay. Uh, we should be able to set this back to first. Now, that Gravedigger leaked with a decent amount of HP, man. Dang. Okay, I think everything is back on first. That's how I would want it. Jesus, he's digging up so much. It's these spawns. Whenever he spawns so damn much, it takes a lot of it away. Dang, dude. Chill out. Four Mega Slows! God, stop sp- OH MY GOD, THERE'S MORE! CHILL OUT! Good! Am I gonna die to Gravedigger? I'm not gonna die to Gravedigger, am I? That's absurd! Okay, well, good. Keep using your stomp. The stomp is less deadly. Jeez, we can finally get DPS on this guy. Holy cow. Okay, I think we should be able to kill him. 
God damn, dude. There were like 10 mega slows he spawned. Okay, it's good that these things are doing some to be- God, stop it! Stop it! Why don't you just quit it? God! Okay, there we go. Yeah, kill them, kill them, kill them. Good, good, good. It's building up a stack over here. Stay safe, stay safe. No, don't- Oh my god. Okay, so we've done 10k damage to him now. I think we should be able to kill him. We should be able to kill him. As long as he doesn't spawn like 10 mega slows. If I see him- If I see him dig out that shovel. Don't you do it. Don't even think about it. I know you want to do it. They're all right there. Just keep it- Just keep it to yourself. That's better. That's honestly better. Okay. As long as he doesn't summon right now. Dude, we're the best. Okay. Uh, let's get an engineer going now. That'll help a lot. I'm just gonna save for the max level, probably. I might do a second before that. But now, the rest of the game is pretty much just gonna be engineer spam. Until we have something better to do. Because, I mean, engineer spam is just OP. Such a good DPS tower. I'm so tempted to get the godling down, but I know I have better things I gotta do. I gotta do. I mean, unless... Unless, like, this whole time, I could have put down the gathering and just, like, won the game easily, and I never knew. But I'll, I'll, st I'll stick to my comfort zone for now. I could do that off-camera, not when I'm trying to get a video out, okay? Alright, so... Yeah, we're killing this stuff real easy. The cryos do defense melting as well. That is a really good part of it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because, I mean, look at these mega slows. Oh, well, now they have 10%. Did they always have 10%? No, look, it, it's going down. 30%. Oh, no, that's a... Huh. 40%. Okay, so it takes away, like... 40% to 27, 13. That's a really weird number. Does it really take out just 13? I don't know. That doesn't sound right. Oh, I can almost get a max engineer, though. That's gonna be real nice. Dude, you can see the tower there in the UI. That's so cool. The phantom engineer skin right there. That's actually really cool. You get to see... Wait, what does that max fall phantom engineer look like? It doesn't look that much different. Oh, speaking of engineer, Tower Defense Simulator devs, please put fallen engineer into the rotation. I have been waiting for the fallen engineer skin my whole life, dude. I want it so bad. That's the only mission quest skin I don't have currently. But once I get it, that's awesome because it's definitely one of the best fallen quest mission skin thingies. Probably one of the best skins generally in the game as well. Anyways, let's get an engineer going again here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. More engineer, more engineer. The rangers are going to be helpful for these lead balloons and the engineer can help a little bit. Actually, engineer does a decent amount of DPS. People don't seem to talk about, like, the engineer's own DPS. I mean, yes, the sentries are the main part of the engineer, but she can put a decent amount of work with her nail gun, too. Like, don't ignore that. A decent amount. Not, like, a game-breaking amount. <laughs> Just, like, know it's there. Like, don't ignore it. But, yeah. Okay, the lavas. I forget what these guys' gimmick is. Can't they, like, heal? I don't know. Yeah, I think they can heal. It's not that much, though, so they're dead. Boom. It's really surprising that the Gravedigger was on wave 36, but the Molten Boss is all the way at 44. That's a pretty huge gap for how closely difficult the bosses are. I mean, the Molten Boss has almost double HP, but like, let's be honest, Molten Boss ain't that hard. Okay, so... I mean, then again, this is an old mode. This is like five years old. Almost. It's almost five years old. It's like four years old right now. Uh, we're just trying to max out another engineer, though. Once I can start using the Gatling gun, that's when this video gets fun. Because, like, solo hardcore in itself, eh, not, not that fun. I mean, solo hardcore is pretty fun. But it's not that fun. But once I can use the Gatling gun, oh, that's fun. Using the Gatling gun tower is just so fun, dude. I want to put it down already, but I know I got better things to do. I got better things to do. Oh, and look at the Cryomancer taking down their, uh, shield, I think. 
Yeah, it went from 80% to 54. That's a pretty huge difference. Cryomancer defense building is awesome. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. I just have this uh, playlist of like background songs being played in the background. I didn't edit those in. Uh, so I'm hearing that too, so I could just like sing along with it. Uh, what song is this? I don't know. Oh well. Okay, I can- there we go. I just got another Max Engineer that's gonna help out a lot. Let's get even more Max Engineer. Because Engineer is awesome. Okay... Dude, I wanna get the Gatling Gun so bad! The piercing on it is the main part of it, honestly. That is where a lot of its DPS comes from, and it is so good on Breakers! I am telling you, this thing will make breakers non-existent for you if you use it. Please use it for breakers. That's all I'm saying. This thing is just really good for that. Actually, what is the line of sight like here? No way, it's... Yeah, no, this this looks like it sucks. What about here? Okay, we go here. So, we can like... Oh, I'm not going to be able to shoot down on that, am I? Because, like, you can't aim down in the hills of walking... Okay, yeah, so this is definitely gonna be the best spot for it probably uh, can I upgrade my engineer yet I almost can now I can not max but I can 54% defense uh, that's a lot of defense um but engineer got that look at all the oh my god that's a lot of damage numbers what about the crook okay now does the crook doesn't have as much but look at that oh my god holy cow yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of damage. Okay, uh, that slow king got past. That's he's gonna about to get shot. He got shot. Okay, I can almost upgrade this engineer to max. Having three max engineers will be pretty good. Cryomancers, keep putting your work in. <laughs> that circuit, the old circuit, man. Did circuit come before hardcore? The, I forgot if Polluted Wastelands was before or after Hardcore. I think it was before. No, yeah, it was before. It was before. I remember now. I remember now. Okay. Alright, let's get this Engineer. Third max level Engineer. There we go. Yeah, build, build up your Sentries. Build up your Sentries. Boom. 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 Oh, wait. Why are they... Why are you getting so far? Yo, slow down. Slow down. Okay, actually, actually, slow down. That was actually like, what the heck? That was actually, <laughs> what the heck? Why did I get so far? Okay, well, let me get another engineer. That was actually really worrying. Why did I get that far? <laughs> Maybe I should get more cryomancers. I mean, sure. I'll set that to first. I'll set that to first. I mean, that's all I can really do, I guess. I guess I can get one more here. It's not that expensive. Oh, that circuit just sped up all those lead balloons. Oh, we have the Molten Boss this wave. Uh, are we good on this? Yeah, the Engineers are helping out the Rangers. And Rangers should be able to handle all that. Alright, nice. Uh, I'm trying to upgrade this 4th Engineer to level 5. Yeah, look at them. They're slowing down the Molten Boss a little bit, I think. Oh. Did he just ignore that stun? Oh, no, he didn't. This one is about to get stunned soon. Maybe. Who knows? This Molten Boss is just a free money ca money money guy, though. Uh, and then we'll get a fourth engineer. Um, maybe, like, up here, actually. The placement seems a bit awkward here. Yeah, like, it wouldn't be fully covering that. I wanted to be fully covering this U-turn. And that just adds a pretty good amount of DPS to the final boss. And the final boss, main challenge of solo hardcore. So, well, main challenge of hardcore in general. 70,000 cash soon. That's going to be awesome. Like, see how easily we handled this guy? We could have got that a lot earlier, to be honest. But there we go, now we have a lot more money. Yeah, I'm gonna put my next engineer around here. 
Oh yeah, I'm hearing the Mako DJ in the background right now. What is an ultimate rarity background look like here? Like you see how this is blue here or purple, I don't know. And then this is purple here or blue. What would an ultimate look like? Is it just like rainbows behind them or something? I don't know. Okay, so if our fifth engineer was there, where should we put our sixth one? I feel like... I mean, here is probably fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I'm gonna just get that there. Uh, this is a pretty dangerous wave, but once we kill the health cultist... He is out healing like six engineers! Dang, dude! Chill out! Uh, I might need some level 3 rangers to catch this. Yeah, I'm gonna get some level 3 rangers. I don't want to get level 4, but level 3, sure. Level 3, sure. Level 3 is actually a really valuable upgrade for ranger. I think a lot of people sleep on it. Okay, well, let's get more. Uh, I'm gonna get a Cryomancer around here. Shit, the strong. Is that gonna hit the rangers, actually? Maybe I should've split up the rangers, so then the Vindicators don't screw them over. Oh, well. I have a lot of Cryomancer bait here, anyway, for the Vindicators. They'll have a fun time with that. Okay, so let me get more level 3 rangers. Let's see, level... I need to get four more, okay. Oh, I can start working on the Gatling gun soon enough. Okay, I just gotta upgrade more rangers. And then more crook bosses. God, there's always something better to upgrade right now. Oh, dang, dude. It'll see it's time. It'll see it's time. Eventually. Eventually, eventually, eventually. Like, maybe it's really good right now. But, I just don't want to risk it. Like, I'm so close to wave 50. I at least want to get to wave 50 in this video. So I could say, like, solo hardcore wave 50. And then people are like, oh my god, he beat it with the Gatling gun? What? But I'm probably not going to beat this. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Alright, level 3. Uh, let's get Crook Bosses upgraded, and then, honestly, by that point, I'll probably start working on the Gatling Gun. So, let's upgrade more Golden Crook Bosses. We're gonna get a lot of money from bosses soon, though. Like, we're getting the Wave 47 Fallen Swordmaster, and we're getting the Wave 48 Fallen King. That's a good chunk of cash to use on my defense. I'll, you know, I'll probably upgrade the rangers before the Gatling gun, and then I'll have fun with the Gatling gun, hell yeah. Alright. So, we can afford another level 4 Golden Crook boss. We just need 3 more, and then we can start working on the rangers. Uh, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba. Wait, how am I going to credit all of these songs in the description, actually? Because I put them all in the playlist, and it's like, shoot. Uh, all of these songs were composed by Focus, I could just say that. Because I'm pretty sure all of these songs in here are. Yeah, I'll just say that. I'm not going to list every single song. Or maybe I should, just to be safe. I credit Focus in, like, all of my descriptions, though. Like, if you look in my video descriptions, like, whenever I use this song, you'll see I always credit it. And if I ever have my outro in the video, that's an easy given to him. Because I'm always using his songs for that, so... I mean, he probably won't be mad with me. So, yeah, I'll just say all the songs in here were made by Focus. And if a few of them weren't, um... You guys could tell me that and I could add it, I don't know. Okay, so... There we go, we have all five Golden Crook bosses. We have all six level six engineers. Now, we are going to work on Rangers. And then we can have fun with the main event. I really shouldn't say main event at this point, like, engineers are probably the main event of this entire game. But the main event of this video right here, and probably the reason you'll skip all the way to the end of the video, is this guy. Unless you've been listening to me yap. If you have, thank you. Alright, so, this guy, 
Oh yeah, another thing. I think the Gatling gun is unstunnable. Even if it's on the ground. Like, I know cliff towers are generally unstunnable, but I think if even if it's on the ground, it's unstunnable. I think. I don't know. If it isn't, correct me, but I'm pretty sure it is, which is really cool as well. So it sort of has that plus that bringing Brawler to this would have as well. Not knockback. Uh, it would have... Dang, these reach over there? That's really cool. Boom, we just got a paycheck. Boom, boom, boom. I only got three. Okay, four, I guess, but... Yeah, anyways. Unstunnability, that's what I'm talking about. That's the plus of having another brawler here. Alright. We're so close, we're so close. We have another boss this wave, so that should basically guarantee that we're gonna start using the gat- You know what? Screw it. I'm putting the gatling gun down. Let's put it right here. Highest point in the map. It's me! That's so cool. I'm, I'm gonna get a free cam shot of that in case I want a thumbnail. I'll go back to this point in the video if I do. That's so cool. I'm gonna get a few free cam shots. That's so cool, man. Oh, uh, we could upgrade some rangers. Oh yeah, let me show you the FPS mode too. Yeah, look, I can see... Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Alright, let's reload. Alright. Well, I can go free cam while I'm in there. What the heck? That's freaky. Alright, uh, let me get out of here. P. Alright, uh, do this. Alright. Boom. Soon enough. Soon enough. Uh, let me set this range over here. That should be able to hit some more stuff if it ever does come into a range. Boom! We can start upgrading this. I'm so happy. Let's go. Alright, let's go, dude. Uh, wait, let me upgrade it. Upgrade. Boom, baby. I'm gonna start shooting you up. Alright, let me shoot the. I forgot. The infinite pierce is like the main thing about this. So let me use it for that. Dude, that's so cool. That's so cool. Look at that. Look at that DPS. Um, I can't kill lead balloons with this thing. Uh, reload. Thank you. Alright, let's start doing that infinite piercing. Oh, I can't shoot down here. Weird. Alright, let's, uh, get some more piercing here. That's a lot of DPS right there. What can I upgrade this to? Shoot, I gotta get used to that. Boom, bro! Oh, let's get some more of that. Oh my god, this is so cool. And look at all that damage. Wow! Dude, this is really cool. That's a pretty good free cam shot as well. Not even a free cam shot. Alright, let's get that damage in. Let's get that damage in. Let's get a headshot on them just because why not. They should really add headshot damage to this thing. But anyways, just keep shooting this thing down. Did he just kill all of their sentries? How did he do that? I got no clue. He must have done like a double stun uh, nonsense. But yeah, now we're just getting tons of damage. Honestly, it's better value to do this. Look at all that damage, dude. Look at all those damage numbers. Alright, not anymore. Alright, let's just keep shooting him. I think we should be able to max this out, though, once we kill him. So that's awesome. And then we'll just get a few more Cryomancers upgraded, and then we're set. Alright, I'm just gonna reload it and then get out. Okay. Uh, let's upgrade a few of the Cryomancer. Boom. Oh, I can't max it out. That was only level 3! What?! Okay, well, I guess we'll just keep... Look at all those damage numbers. That is... Oh my god. That's insane! Look at this! Look at this! What?! The infinite piercing on this is just insane, dude. Oh my god. What is the hitbox on the bullets? It has aim assist! Oh my lord! This is so cool. Look at that DPS! I wish I could see the damage go up while I'm... What is the damage right now on this? 54k already? That's really high for how recently I placed it. We can max it out. We have a max 100 damage per shot, baby. Oh my god. Look at that damage. It's infinitely piercing. It's doing so much. Oh my god. Dude, this is actually such a cool tower. Oh, I can't shoot through walls. Um, Okay, let's reload it and get out of here and max out more of these. Max out, max out, max out. Max out, uh, max out, and we'll get one here, max out, we'll get one here, max out, and then let's go in and do our damage, do our damage. 
The thing is, it's gonna fire for us. Let me set it as strong, though. It's gonna fire for us, even if we're not things. So that's really cool. Look at that piercing! Oh my god! Jesus Christ. I really want to see how this handles the Void Weaver, though. Dude, look at that piercing. Oh my god. The damage on this thing is just unmatched, dude. Okay, well, it is matched. Engineer. But, like... Look at that! Look at that piercing. I'm gonna reload it real quick. And then... That's a long time to reload. Okay, well, anyways, boom! Even more DPS! Look at that! Oh my god! Dude, this is... Oh my god, we're shredding! I wanna see if that Fallen Titan dies right now. Because that's gonna be really... Oh my god, I think it did. Okay, well, let's continue to kill these Vindicators now. Kill the Void Weaver. Kill the Void Weaver. That is our priority target right there. Alright, uh, we could get some piercing on it as well, though. We're attacking the Void Weaver while also attacking some other stuff. That's really valuable. Uh, kill this stuff. I wanna kill you. You Vindicators gotta die, buddy. Okay, get some piercing on them. Get both of them hit. Yeah, why are they getting so far? Hello? Hello? Why are you all getting so far? Okay, uh, anyways, let's go back to targeting here. That is a lot of stuff to hit. That is just so much DPS I'm hitting right now. Okay, well, let's reload. Let's reload. Let's reload. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on reload, reload. Come on, come on. Go on. Okay, okay, okay. Start hitting the Void Weaver while we hit some other stuff at the same time. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, come on, come on. Dude, this is so cool. Uh, let's spread the damage out. Boom, 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 boom. This is a really good AoE tower. Because of the infinite piercing. That's what this thing's main thing seems to be. Uh, let's kill the Void Weaver, though, honestly. Uh, actually, no. Let's kill this stuff first. This stuff might be more dangerous. I feel like Brawlers would have been doing better right now, though. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. Let's get some more damage here. Let's get some more damage here. Get some more damage. Oh my, all the engineer sentries are dead because of the unknowns. That's really bad. That's really bad. These unknowns are really... Oh, shoot. What is going on there? Oh, okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Just keep killing them. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Get that piercing. Oh, yeah, infinite piercing. There we go. Okay, I'm going to focus on the Void Weaver now. I actually killed this stuff. There's still stuff spawning! God. Reload. Reload, 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 reload. Okay, we haven't done damage to the Void Weaver yet. That sucks. But... Okay, I'm gonna just leave this on auto, and we're gonna sell a bit of this, we're gonna sell a bit of this, we're gonna sell a bit of this. Okay, go back to it, go back to it. Wait, actually, auto might be better right now. Uh, Loki, yeah, leave it on auto, leave it on auto. Yeah, just micro it every once in a while, but leave it on auto. Dude. That's so cool. 300k damage. Damn. Okay, uh, target here. Dude, that's really cool. Uh, we could sell that. Sell that. Uh, get another crowd here. Get another crowd here. I'm gonna fire at it. Look at that. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Hit us up. Hit us up. I don't think we're winning this, though. This is really bad DPS. <laughs> Okay, reload, reload. Reload, buddy, reload. Okay. Uh, let's set it, like, here. Yeah, just keep shooting at it. Just keep shooting at it. Actually, a bit more here. Yeah, okay, that... That is a pretty good scope to have right now while we try to micro the engineers to over here. Yeah, get the engineers over here now. We're gonna need them over here. Here, probably better. Do that. Do that. And... Uh, this still has sentries up. I won't relocate it yet. Okay. Let's get it over here. It's not seeing that. That sucks. Uh, I don't know if I should leave the crook bosses. I'll leave them now. I'll leave them. I'll leave them. Dude, our DPS is really bad right now, though. Uh, why is my- why am I locked? Yeah, that was really weird. Okay, let's keep doing this, keep doing this. Our DPS is really bad right now, though. I don't think we're winning. 
Yeah, no, we're not we're not winning this. But the Gatling Tunner! Huh, I don't know what to think about it. I mean I could try to win, I could try to win, don't worry, don't worry. But I'm not sure if we are. Okay, let's just set it auto so then we can start relocating these if we need to. Uh nah, we could thing right now. They should make it so like it does half the damage, but if you go in FPS mode and get headshots, then it's double. Like that would add like reward to microbing it. Because right now you really could just like do that. And then it, it's fine. Like I feel like that's not how it should be. Okay, let me set an engineer here. Get this engineer here as well. This engineer here. That one's fine. Uh, shoot at this thing. We might actually be able to win. Maybe. That's a huge maybe. Alright, let's scope, scope it over there. Is it gonna shoot? Yeah, shoot at it. Okay. Okay, we are getting our damage in. We are getting our damage in. Um... Come on. That's a good scope. That's a good scope. It hits now. Everything. We don't need to micro it. Okay, this one's running out of range soon. I'm gonna set it up over here now. So is this one. And this one. Okay. And then let me get a Cryomancer here. Cryomancer here. And then Crook Boss here. What do you mean I can't upgrade it? I have money. Oh, no, I don't. Come on. We actually got really close. That's insane. Wait, can we actually win? Hold on. Let me... Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Come on. We got really close. Wow. I don't think we're winning that, though. Yeah, wow. Dude. Okay, the Gatling Gun Tower is really fun, and I think, honestly, if I played it better at the beginning, I could've won. Because, like, you saw all those unknowns killing my sentries. I think that really hurt it there. But, wow. So the Gatling Gun Tower is really viable. It is really OP. It has infinite piercing. It has... I mean, the scope targeting can be annoying, but, like, you just change it, change it, change it. You saw how we did it. The microwing, I don't think the microwing, like, with the FPS mode will be used that much. It's just kind of fun. But, wow. That, that tower is really fun. So, there you go. Solo Hardcore, Wave 50 with the new Gatling Gun Tower. I almost won. But, I, I could have won, but I was just barely off. So, yeah, there's, there it is. Peace out, guys. Have a good day.